Hey guys, starts with a table saw. Amazing. Yeah, and we start getting this stuff. We're mixing a bunch of different video types that I've been doing up all into one longer video. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. I had a blast making this video, shooting it, and just definitely making this piece. Figured I'd do a little newer painting style with some stenciling and some sponging. We've got details, posters, oil paints, final airbrushing, detail airbrushing, and a massive walkthrough at the end of this. Um, yeah, longer video. Um, haven't done one of these in a while. Um, never done one this way, actually. <sighs> Thanks everybody so much. Um, the response the last couple of months has been um, absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, Jay and I are besides ourselves. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to step up here. I know this is a lot longer than what I normally put out here, um, especially as of late. Um, but I figured this was going to be the Coupe de Gras. A lot of you have come to the channel simply because of these pieces, or this piece that I'm working on right here. Um, I I had so much fun doing this. Um, there, were, there was a break because uh, I had to get ready for uh, the sludge tournament for our big game. But, you know, I never lost any intensity on this. Um, there will be some more pieces as this goes um, when well when you see the final walkthrough here <laughs> it'll become evident detailing um, with the airbrushes oils all of this um, you know I followed uh, some YouTube stuff um, you know I've been doing this for a while so it's somewhat second nature at this point now, I wanted to do a little slow-mo here and of course it got sped up right in the middle basically what's going on with all of these steps with the airbrushes is I'm thinning them down and they are inks um, but even thinner inks than what normal inks are and the idea behind that is to keep the coverage to a minimum um, couple of things that happened with this I generally do have to do two coats um, to get the coverage that I want however um, the overspray uh, isn't as bad it's not that big of a deal it only takes a couple of minutes to do it actually takes a lot longer to film it correctly um, than it does to actually do it um, anyways um, I'll let you guys uh, take a gander at the walkthrough here and uh, I'll be back to you in a second. posters here um, yeah you've seen this before if you've been watching the videos I really haven't changed anything except the the gook I'm using is a little bit more watered down yeah thanks a lot Carl I really appreciate all of the stuff you guys should definitely go check him out um, he has basically a free Google Drive so you can download these cool posters. Um, God, he's got hundreds of them in there too. It's amazing. Um, and yeah, pretty free, you know. I like to give a little bit of money when I can here and there to keep everything going. 
And of course, um, I really wanted to, you know, here comes the oil stuff. And yeah, there we go. The originals, they really are my inspiration. Some city radio. Uh, a couple of weeks back, they mentioned us in the podcast, and uh, <laughs> that's kind of hit us like a tidal wave, to be perfectly honest. A lot of you, uh, you know, obviously listen to them like I do. Uh, they're ridiculous, and I absolutely uh, advise anybody who wants to learn about Necromunda stuff or get into the, the lore concepts of it, um, check out some city radio um there's no other podcast like it uh another one that uh and i want to mention here i didn't get to tag him at all is uh spaniel over at underhive lower keepers uh, i think i hit him in a video before um yeah the uh the uh slopper tile but uh, I wanted to uh, make sure I get everybody that uh, is a huge inspiration to me uh, at least said or tagged in this video. I mean, it's long enough, so I should be able to hit everybody. Let's see here. Who else do I do? Oh, yeah. Podcasts. Uh, I mentioned Sub City Radio, Underhive Lore Keepers. The Dome Runners are fantastic. Um, LNR is just spot on and probably one of the most knowledgeable people I've ever heard talk about Necromunda. We have Necromacho. Um, I love both of those guys. They, uh, they just another take on Necromunda. Uh, they have great commercials and a great podcast. Uh, of course, can't forget Gilders Ford Radio. Um, and another version of Necromunda. Uh, they're they talk about uh, their own gang-specific stuff. It's uh, and their campaigns that they're running. Um, yeah, it's just never-ending awesomeness. Let's see here some YouTube's that uh, I use for inspiration. Magrathia, builder of worlds. Probably mentioned him once or twice on videos. Uh, miniature game montage. Love everything about it he's picked up and subscribed to us and man you've got some great videos brother okay other ones uh wellywood wargaming my god damon you just keep pumping them out <laughs> it's crazy man they're cheap skates another one oh, very informative uh, attention span labs is one that i have been growing very fond of lately. Uh, painters, you got Marco Frizzoni, Squidmar, Vince Venturella, Sam Lenz. He's, uh, you know, I, I don't follow all of their teachings, um, but, uh, you know, because I got my own style going on. But, you know, that's the point of watching all of us in the first place is to get inspiration and then, you know, go do it the way that you're going to do it. Um, you know, it, there's no stopping you. There's no rules to any of this. It's it's your stuff. You should be able to do whatever you want to do with your stuff.
Getting some weathering powders on here. This is uh, yeah, an amazing thing happened during the making of this video and shooting it and everything else. Um, JD in the Sump Sea has hit a thousand subscribers. Um, I am, gosh, I, I have no idea what to say. Thank you guys so much. And I know Jay's gonna thank you in his next video too. Um, at some point, hopefully this year, he and I can do some kind of collaboration video. Man, I hate that word, because we're already partners. We wouldn't be collaborating. But uh, yeah, the next parts of this, uh, I'm doing the final detail spraying with the uh, shadowing, and then the final uh, sump airbrush spray. We're also gonna have a quick walk, or a, a, uh, a quick put together of the board. Yeah, I told you, I was gonna mix everything that I've been doing lately in the videos all into one big monster here. I can't tell you how much fun I had making this video too. Um, it is longer. Um, all of you still watching at this point, thank you for hanging on, because uh, the big walkthrough's coming up here. Um, I really, really hope you enjoy it, and we will see you I will come back on at the end of the video.
have it, you guys. There is going to be more. This next year coming up is going to be truly exciting for the channel. Um, and I really hope all of you stick around with Jay and I as we do it. <laughs> I really have lost it, I think. That thing fits right in there. Anyways, you guys have a great night. And as always, please like and subscribe. <laughs>